about you, Mum? What do you think of the OnlyFans situation? You love it? No, Karen, sit down! Don't know! Oi! I know what happens in Rocky, don't blast me! I'm in your neck of the woods. You don't have a neck, Kim. <laughs> what? <laughs> You're deaf! How loud do I have to talk? How do you rate yourself out, out of 10 from your first sexual experience? Did you come on a face? Because that would be a 10, right? You went to school with him? Yes. Great. <laughs> How did that, was that for you? Yeah, not great. Not great? I remember you, madam. You came to my last show. You were blind then. No, I was not. You were. You were extremely drunk. She's been here since two, hasn't she? said hello to you yeah. before the show. I know, and I was thinking about it backstage, and I was like, I remember you. You were fucking blind then. <laughs> and I smelled alcohol on you tonight when you said hello to me at five o'clock. <laughs> You were! <laughs> you were very drunk, okay? Oh, yeah, thank you. I wish, I wish I was as drunk as you, alright? You know why? Because you would almost look fuckable. <laughs> did you, did your mate who's your with nearly get up out of his... You are in a wheelchair, sir, and you nearly got up there. That's how angry you were. I saw you nearly get up there and you're like, Christ, maybe today's the day, that'll work. Um, I'm joking! I'm joking, I am joking. You would never look fuckable. Hilarious. I can't say that. You shouldn't go out looking like that. See where you came from? What was your name again? Kim. Kim. No, no, I'm just, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna write down Kim's name. Kim the... I've seen you before though. You look different without cum on your face. I, uh... <laughs> One year to the day since I did my last uh, show. It's been a while. Shut your mouth, woman. <laughs> I remember you. How do I remember you? Where do I know you from? Kim. Kim. I, I remember we had quite a weird interaction. You made an absolute dick of yourself. <laughs> Everyone in the room hated you. You left, we thought you perished, we celebrated, and yet your return has come. <laughs> Kim, what are you doing, babe? I'm in your neck of the woods. You don't have a neck, Kim. What? <laughs> That's not nice, I know. I know. I am a nice man. I always put my neck out for people. I'm always... <laughs> So, what's, what's happening in your life at the moment? Any relationships? No. No. Why? What's, what possibly could be standing between you and a relationship? Mental health issues. Mental health issues. Let's get into that. <laughs> what, what's in your plastic bag? BPD, um, which is borderline personality disorder. Shut up. What? Kim and I are talking. This is a part of her NDIS package. Now, what? No. When you scull a drink, do you neck it? Good. Did you, have a, did you have a lisp or you had an accent? You just swallowed your tongue. She's having a fit! You're deaf! How loud do I have to talk? She did it. You'd pay. Good work. <laughs> I tell you what, there is nothing more attractive than a deaf woman laughing. I'm joking. There's nothing. <laughs> so do you lip read? Or you can hear me? No, no, that's okay. So, but how are you hearing me? You're not hearing me. You're just sitting there going, ha! <laughs> Every two minutes. <laughs> what? Was that like just a noise you make? Like, is, is everything, you all there? What's, what's wrong? Who was that? Huh? huh? I said hi. Hey, babe, how are you? What's your name? Yeah, no. Karen, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere we go, there's a big, dirty Karen. What? My mum's name is Karen. 
I bet, yeah. <laughs> what? No, fuck you. <laughs> it is Thursday night at 7.45 or something like that, and you are blind, madam. <laughs> you are blind. What do you do, madam? Not much, all right. <laughs> it's just nice to... I'm a You're a what? Well, clean up your act. I tell you. <laughs> a few moments later. And that makes me sad. What? Jeez, you, you're a. <laughs> I. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> yes, darling. Love you. Huh? Love you. Love you too, but. Yeah. A few moments later. Mad. I hope you have epilepsy. <laughs> so this is the part of the show where I do like a, an act that I'm actually really sorry and then I come back with like a punchline and you've ruined it. <laughs> you sound like a child. How much meth have you had this evening though? Is this one of your clients? Five minutes later. Is I'm going to apologise to the extremists. Shut up. Right, go! <laughs> this bloke's having the best day ever. I'd like to thank you all for staying patient with me while fucking Lord, the Lord Mayor was getting removed. <laughs> Shanae, what do you do with yourself? Uh, you do OnlyFans? <laughs> now, I've noticed something a little bit different about you. A Just a little bit. Keyword being little. little. You are a little person? Sure you are a little person. She is a little person. <laughs> Can you stand up? Oh, you already were. Hilarious. Uh... <laughs> so what do you do on OnlyFans? Uh, you share it with your boyfriend. And he's little as well. Oh my god! <laughs> Two wrongs do make a right. Uh, what does that even mean? Uh, so like, I know you're in front of your mum, so I'll, I'll keep this PG. Does he full fuck you and shit? <laughs> what about you mum? What do you think of the OnlyFans situation? I love it. You love her? <laughs> she lets you look. Are we in Newcastle or fucking Tasmania? What's going on? <laughs> do you know what OnlyFans is, sir? Yes, you do. He says, he says, looking down. Yes. Would you follow the little couple on OnlyFans? Of course he would. <laughs> I want to know from you, mate. What's your name, sorry? Theo. Theo. Yes. Theo. Theo. How did you lose your virginity, Theo? So, um, I was next to one of my best mates in the. He was in the other room. The next one of your best mates. He was in the other room. And we both lost at the same time. You both what at the same time? We both lost it at the same time. You both lost it at the same time. Did Earth stand still? Like what happened? Did the Large Hadron Collider malfunction? You didn't know it. But we both kind of heard. You heard what? Applause. How good of a root are you? How good of a root is he? Is he alright? Yeah? Good on you, mate. So what happened? What, what went through your mind? Like, were you, were you scared? Were you nervous? Well, she was covering most of the view of the room. She was covering the view of the room? Yeah. Are you suggesting that she was one of our larger friends? Well, we, we called my penis the um, harpoon for a little while. You called your penis the harpoon? for a little while, because it speared whales. Because it speared whales. OK. Now you got to fuck fat cheeks. I'm sure your girlfriend's real stoked to hear this. <laughs> why were you why were you sexing up the fat girls? What was the what was the process of mine? What were you were thinking there? Man? She came up to me. She, what, did you have food in your pockets? It's like a bear. You gotta <laughs> I actually um found her on a pier. You found her on a pier? <laughs> yeah, in Phillip Island. In Phillip Island. Is that yeah. a seal joke? No. <laughs> No, and then I just asked her if she wanted to go back to mine, and then and then um, my mates wouldn't leave the room, and my mates were like, there was a glass. You play AFLs up there. Stop that. Yeah. Basically, my mates. Like kept... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, Theo, you suck, man. I wish you got crushed by that fat <laughs> bitch. <laughs> We've all got to start somewhere, and Theo is a young mountaineer. Uh, <laughs> used to be a mortuary technician. Used to work in a mortuary. Yeah. For those people who are playing at home, what's a mortuary? <laughs> That's where we dig around the dead people to put the guts into uh, plastic bags before they're chopped off to be buried. Fucking <laughs> hang on. <laughs> That's where we dig around the dead people to take out the guts before they're chuffed off to get buried. What the fuck are you smoking in there? What's the worst, weirdest thing you've ever found in a body? Other than yourself. <laughs> Can anyone else beat that? Not as much as he used to beat it at work, but... <laughs> Does he ever get really kinky at home and say to you, just lay still? What was your name, sorry, mate? Luke, I actually heard about your suburb, mate. There was a giant hole they found in Logan, Luke. That's Did you know that? Shut the fuck up. Did you know that, Luke? Did you know they found a the giant... There was such a big hole, right, that the whole town, they got out and they got around the big fucking hole, right? They crowded, they crowded around the hole, they looked at the hole, they threw shit in the hole. This big, massive hole, right? They got fucking... The CSIRO came over, they shot lasers into the hole, they couldn't work out how deep it was. NASA turned up, Elon turned up, like everyone was there, right? They were trying to work out, shut your stupid mouth, they were trying to work out what the hole was. Do you know what the hole was, Luke? It was your mum's <laughs> Shut up! I got a car. Okay. Leave <laughs> it out, I mean. Hey! Hi. Woman who threatened me with a penis before. Hi there. Cut it out. Sorry. It's okay. Sorry. What is your name? Karen. <laughs> no. no, no, I've got a microphone, Karen. You shut, you're not in the shops now, Karen. You're not trying to return something now, Karen. No, Karen, sit down. Don't, no, oi. I know what happens in Rocky. Don't blast me. Don't you do it. Don't do it. Don't you fucking do it either. No, he's not. He's the same bloody, we're gonna make out, me and him. Well, <laughs> Butterfield. Your maiden name's Butterfield? Yeah, proper. Proper? Yeah? Cousins, cousins from another mother? Yeah. Fucking hope not. Cuz, I... You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, bros. Yeah. No shit. You're drinking wine, you liar! <laughs> you up with wine. <laughs> you can't handle your rub. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna go back to your seat or? All right. There you go. Not the first time you've been fisted, is it? Um... <laughs> I am used to hecklers. I started my stand-up career in Newcastle at pubs with drunk fucking idiots and then I moved to uh, Sydney with more drunk fucking idiots <laughs> and everywhere, right? So I'm used to people yelling shit out, and it's usually the same sort of person. But my favourite heckler of all time happened in Broken Hill. There was a young man who flew out to meet me there and to do the show, to watch the show. He flew out from Sydney, right? I was absolutely stoked to have him there when I found out that he'd spent that much money just getting there. He's a young 18-year-old guy. His name was Scotty, right? And he sat probably in the third row. Now, in most comedy rooms, you cannot see the third row. So he was in pitch fucking darkness. Couldn't see a thing. And I walk out and I'm telling jokes and they're amazing, I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs> and I go through a few punchlines and as the laugh often does, it peaks and then it peters out. This is where Scotty hit me with the best heckle of all time. Because it wasn't rude, it wasn't mean, there was nothing horrible about me in that heckle at all. What Scotty said, it was just a sound. He has Tourette's syndrome, okay? 
absolute true story. Sitting in the third row, I walk out, tell a joke, it peters, the laughter goes to silence and all I hear from young Scotty is <laughs> And I go, okay, something's obviously wrong, okay? There's a young man in my crowd who's having a medical incident and I need to address this the most appropriate way with a professional attitude as I possibly can. Listen here, cocksucker, what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> he said, I'm sorry, man, I'm only 18. I don't really know, what, you know, I've never been to a comedy show. I've got Tourette's, I can't help it. I was like, oh my God, he's disabled. Thanks for ruining the show, okay? <laughs> but it didn't stop there. Every 90 seconds, like clockwork, it was ridiculous. <laughs> Every time there was a silence, it was crazy. This little prick was getting more laughs than me. The way his Tourette's worked was he would do more of the ticks. He would have more of the ticks when he got excited, okay? So he would laugh, everyone would laugh, and then he'd go, right? And then everybody else would laugh at him, so then he'd do it again, okay? And it formed this weird negative feedback loop. <laughs> he was sitting there at one point for about five minutes going. <laughs> and I spoke to Scotty afterwards, a lovely man. And I went up to him and I just said, hey man, you know, great to meet you. I tell you what, with noises like that, my, your mum must hear when you've got a girl over. <laughs> he said, no, I'm a virgin. I went, your mum must hear you have the best wanks in the world. <laughs> hey, Dave, Adam, how are you? You're right, you got a nice haircut. I remember you, Ruby, how are you, mate? Good, good. I saw you last year, you were a lesbian last year. Yeah, still a lesbian? You're by now, hey, bring it back. <laughs> We're back to the cops. You'll be back, Bruce. I'll tell you, you'll be back. Rod and cops in no time. A few moments later. I'm sure Jesus fucked kids too. You know how he always had like, the, 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 the blood on his hands, the Steve Martyr? That's from breaking Hymans, man. Our Lord and Saviour and a Hyman breaker. <laughs> you know who breaks Hymans more than Jesus? A big lesbian friend, Ruby. Yeah, <laughs> what about you, Big Dick? Are you 18 yet? You are. This is your mum. Who's this? Dad. Have you lost your virginity? You have. Oh, you didn't know, Mum. So who is she? You don't talk to her anymore. You just one, one and done. <laughs> through and through. So Mum and Dad cover your ears up. So you fuck this cheap. <laughs> How'd you meet her? You don't know. Yeah. You just met her. And out. I'm just through mates? Right, okay, and what happened? How did you start talking to her? What was the conversation like? How did it get to your cock, Mum? That, that you used to change his, remember, you used to change his little nappies, right? His little baby, with his little baby dick, right? And now he's just fucking just... Just So you don't talk to her anymore, that's sad. What, why, why? Was it, was it a, was it a piss poor effort? <laughs> How do you rate yourself out, out of 10 from your first sexual experience? Did you come on a face? Because that would be a 10, right? <laughs> Mum, right? That's a 10. <laughs> Dad? <laughs> How old are you? Oh, mate, it's underage, mate. You're 18. Yeah, mate. Eight, you, you don't even have pubes yet, you little... <laughs> what, what is your name? Jamie. Jamie. What do you do with yourself? I'm a fitter and turner apprentice. Lick, listen to you. I'm a fitter and turner fucking <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> You're still going to the tuck shop, aren't you? <laughs> How do you? Where do you go around here to get the tail? Uh, Empire. Empire, is that the strip club? Is that where you hang out? Uh, a little bit here and there. A little bit, you don't mind it? Never gonna How much it, should you pay for a lap dance, do you reckon? Oh, you can pay upwards of a hundred, but I... Upwards of a hundred? You wouldn't pay upwards of a hundred. No. no way, you're wearing footy shorts and thongs. You'll throw around... You'll throw around twenties with tears in your eyes. <laughs> Any vegans here? Are you fucking serious, cockhead? What is that? You bring a spatula to a show. 
Motherfucker, pass that up the front right now. Hang on, hang on. Can we just, can we just, hang on, yep, yeah, okay. If this isn't a fucking weapon, are you fucking serious? What is your name, Martin Bryant? Hey? Oh, that barbecue, my name's Oscar. Oh, is that a barbecue, my name's Oscar? That does not explain any of this. I'm gonna put that fucking over there, away from you, you little freak. Um, so you are a vegan? Vegetarian, yeah. Oh, so you're like, you're just like half in. You, you fucking pussy. Yeah. Like, do we have any teen boys in the crowd tonight? Anyone here? 18, 19? No, fuck you, mate. Uh, we're not talking to you ever again, you little creep. Fucking, you're out of school, aren't you, though, the vegan boy? Yeah. You made it out without shooting the joint up. Good stuff. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching the video. Make sure you hit subscribe. And check out IsaacButterfield.com for all my tour dates. Check out the second channel that I do with my wife, Little Buttsman, and the Pokemon channel as well. My wife and I also have a podcast called The Mum and Dad Show. It is on Spotify and YouTube. And ladies and gentlemen, we have videos coming out almost every day on this channel. We'll see you very soon. Bye.